everyone welcome back to my channel today I am doing a wrap with me video I don't know if I've ever done one of these before but I thought it would be interesting to sit down and chat with you guys while I wrap my Christmas presents these are literally all of Frederick's Christmas presents so I'm going to start wrapping before Frederick actually wakes up from his nap I did ask on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions, so we'll see if they come through. But so far, I'm just going to chat with you guys until we actually get some of those questions. So the wrapping, pro the wrapping paper I'm using today is these three here. They kind of go with my tree, but kind of also don't. Um, they're all silver, white, and silver again. Um, but yeah, I just got the wrapping paper I'm using today is these three here they kind of go with my tree but kind of also don't um they're all silver white and silver again um but yeah i just got these from kmart today i don't know about you guys but for me christmas wrapping is my favorite time or just wrapping in general present wrapping i just love present wrapping so 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 much and I'm one of those people that have to make it 100% perfect and that makes me so angry if I don't get it perfect. One down, 100 to go. Pulling out my Instagram to see if anyone has asked me some questions. I think I should wrap some of these presents with two because this is just going to be a waste. Honestly, wrapping also gives me really bad anxiety because I need to make things perfect and I'm worried that I'm going to cut the piece of paper too short and then I'm not going to be able to use it. Anyone else like that or is it just me? I feel like this totally could be a AMSR. Is it AMSR mm -hmm. video because of all the noises of the paper and the sticky tape? I just feel like it could be but I don't know if anyone else is the same way, but I actually get freaked out by those videos. Like, actually really puts me off watching those videos because, I don't know, those sounds just actually, like, really trip me out. Like, I don't know what it is about those videos, but I just can't actually watch them. I just think they're strange. Especially the whispering ones. <laughs> whispering ones and I thank you I keep on hearing noises and I think either it's Frederick or someone's trying to break into my house <laughs> and I don't want any of those things to happen okay I'm gonna pull out my Instagram to see if there's anyone uh, questions there's a question on Instagram asking how old me and Jason were when we had Frederick so I got pregnant when I was 21. Is that right? Is that right? Um, so yeah, I got pregnant when I was 21 turning. No, that can't be right. Am I stupid? What's this age? I was this age. I was 22 turning 23. I just had to work out my age. <laughs> I was I was 22. This is a wrapping paper I'm using now. This one's another really nice one. I actually really hated all the wrapping paper in Kmart and I was just like, uh, I'll just get this one because it's semi good. I'm glad I got this one now. Oh, damn it. If you guys want to see what I got for Frederick for Christmas, I will leave the videos linked everywhere so you guys can go and see when I actually got him but I feel like you guys can kind of see some of the presents behind me but obviously not all of them I feel like I'm concentrating so hard on wrapping presents and I'm not actually talking because I'm just concentrating on, like, on wrapping presents I'll get another question from the gram because that will help me talk third one down on my Christmas wish list this year, I just asked for like sustainable things. Like I asked for a um, stainless steel uh, lunch box and what else did I ask them? Like new shopping bags and 
what else? I can't honestly remember what else I asked for, but um, yeah, I just went for a different route this year because I honestly really didn't know what I wanted and I've been eyeing off these things that I asked for for a really long time. So I'm just like, oh, I might as well just ask um, for these things so I can actually get them and I don't have to buy them myself. So I actually asked Jason to get me some like gym stuff. So I asked for like workout clothes and some new weights for home. I also asked for some stuff from Lush and a new perfume. So not really that much on my wish list this year. Honestly, I would prefer Jason to spend money on um, himself other than me because I feel like Jason deserves so much. Um, so I would rather him spend money on himself, but I know he's not going to do that. Someone asked me, do I keep up with fashion or have I always had the same style? Um, I like to keep up with fashion trends. Um, I'm just one of those people, even though the fast fashion industry is really bad, I know that. But um, I do like to keep with the trends as much as I possibly can, just because I am into fashion and looking nice and a lot of people who watch this channel or some people that watch this channel and aren't really supportive of the fast fashion industry I totally get it because um, I think the fast fashion industry is a very bad place and I think it needs improving um, a lot but I unfortunately am not really into thrifting that much and wearing secondhand clothes and I struggle to find clothes in thrift shops, thrift shops that I actually really like. But also if I try and find sustainable ethical clothes, they are so flipping expensive and I just don't have the thought process to actually spend like 80 bucks on a top. I'm just not that kind of person. Really hard, like I don't want to support fast fast fashion because I don't agree with the conditions that people have to work in and how much they get paid to make our clothes but also I don't think I don't think it's right to up the price on ethical clothing so much where normal people like me can't afford a top because it's like $90. Someone asked me what is my biggest challenge as a mum? <laughs> Oh, there is a fair few. I feel like I've gone through so many presents and I didn't even realize. Um, there is a fair few. There is a fair few challenges that happen with motherhood. Um, they're all different. They've all changed throughout the time of being a parent. Probably actually one of the biggest challenges at the moment is actually getting Frederick to eat food. Um, Frederick will go through stages of literally not eating anything and he will also go through stages of just eating his favourite things like peanut butter on toast. But also he'll go through stages of just eating like a pint of strawberries or just having crackers and dip or he'll go through an amazing stage of eating everything that I give him like avocado and celery and his broccoli and everything. So at the moment I think the challenging thing that I'm dealing with at the moment is Frederick's diet. Another present wrapped. I've actually done quite a good job of wrapping presents and I've got one, two, three presents to wrap. Yay! I'm so happy but my camera is actually dying so I think I'm actually going to head off and I'm going to put my camera on charge, finish off these presents and wrap them off camera because my camera is going to die and I actually wrapped a bunch of presents didn't think that I'd wrap that many presents but apparently I did so we've got a majority of presents wrapped but I hope you all enjoyed seeing me wrap these presents of Frederick's and also just having a little um, chin wag with me I was trying to remember what the word was but it's called chin wag but yeah I hope you all enjoyed and I guess I will see you guys in a couple of days bye